For example, when Facebook goes and they says, hey, we want more regulation for data privacy. No, they don't. They want regulation that only they can afford so the next social media company like Rumble is not able to pay the same that they're able to pay for that sort of data hosting, lawyer fees, and all that sort of stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we'll be reacting to Charlie Craig who debates master's college students. Guys, let's get straight into this. Hello. Hi. Mr. Kirk. Um, I am welcoming booze as saying I am a Marxist. I'm very left-leaning, but I'm here to find some common ground with you. Okay. Um, your critiques of the monopolistic tendencies of multinational corporations align very closely with my beliefs as viewing the world through a class lens as being the major axis of inequality in this country. Yep. Yep. My question is, as a member, a leader of a conservative organization that really condemns large government, mm -hmm. how do you address this ever-growing power and these monopolistic tendencies without using the federal government and big government. I just would love to know That's a good spirited you question. Um, you have read your Marx. Good for you, because some people say they're Marxists and uh, they haven't. So look, I think the Marxists are wrong on a lot. We could talk about that in a second. But the Marxists, their fascination with class is not wrong. And there is a place where class warfare is legitimate and ugly and cruel and that powerful people are trying to stamp, stomp on people that don't have as much as they have. Do I think it's as plain and simple as Marx and Engels put out? No, obviously, that's not my position. But I do think that a, a bipartisan um, diagnosis of kind of class issues is something that's very interesting. I'd be curious yeah. to get your thoughts of a Marx, as a Marxist of why we talk about race all the time, because that will tell me what kind of Marxist you are, but not right now. So to answer your question, the answer, the answer, the answer needs to be to try to pursue market-based solutions. Not be afraid to use the government if to break up big monopolies like Google. Not be afraid to use antitrust authority. However, understand that sometimes more regulation can actually be a boon and a gift to those mega corporations. For example, when Facebook goes and they says, hey, we want more regulation for data privacy. No, they don't. They want regulation that only they can afford so the next social media company like Rumble is not able to pay the same that they're able to pay for that sort of data hosting, lawyer fees, and all that sort of stuff. So look, I think we can both agree though, crony capitalism or cronyism is awful and wrong and that entrepreneurial bottom-up focused solutions is a beautiful thing. Where we will disagree though is that if you are a Marxist and you seem too sweet to be a Marxist so I'll, I'll put that aside but is um, do you believe by definition that the entrepreneurial activity will result in exploitation and will w result in the concentration of one person benefiting from the other. This is where I disagree. I think a portion of American economic activity, yes, is big companies exploiting or lying to people. But the vast majority of economic activity happening in America is beautiful. It's voluntary exchange of both parties benefiting. It's the local small business serving a meal to somebody in Santa Barbara. It's a local hotel that is able to have somebody with a great experience. It's somebody that starts a taxi cab company to be able to provide for their family. So I think that we bash markets be way too over generally, and I would love your thoughts on that. Do you agree that most economic activity in America is probably done voluntarily and is actually beneficial? Not anymore. I think because okay. so much industry has gone overseas with certain trade agreements, hey, it's you're speaking my usually language. like very large corporations that dominate employment in America. So I don't think small businesses are doing very well, especially after the pandemic. No, that's true. I don't think they're doing well, but I think still the, the, the volume of, of economic activity is largely not rooted in exploitation right now in America. What do you think about that? I agree to disagree. <laughs> okay, got it. So think about that because I do think that exploitation happens, but largely, I think that there still is this amazing foundation of goodness in our markets of most people that are not trying to game somebody but instead offer a service and most people that are willing to trade their value, their time for that other service. And sure. I don't want to lose that. And the Marxists in its pure, most pure sense at the eradication of private property, we would lose that. So let me just ask, can we agree on one thing as we close you know, this question out? Break up Google, yes? Definitely. All right, we got an agreement. Thanks for being here. Guys, but to be honest, I feel companies are not being exploited. And I honestly believe that a lot of people like TikTok, I'll use TikTok as an example, they're giving a lot of new companies, new brands, like 
new people trying to start something like giving them the room to advocate like to to share their product and like giving them the views and i feel tiktok is an amazing platform if you from youtube but like i think it's an amazing platform like that helps people like look at tiktok marketplace like there are a lot of people willing to offer your service and a lot of people willing to buy a lot of people are searching for good things and i feel tiktok is just a platform giving to them right now and youtube is doing something like that like the youtube brand connect and i actually have five settings on this video and i feel that's the best for anyone right now like if you're a man you're a woman check it out okay i don't think about this video just like share subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time guys Bye.